Okay, now that breakfast is over, I've got quite a big project on my hands for the day today. Just as a quick refresher, full-time income is the fact that my husband and I own an herbal remedies business called Puppalums. And being able to expand that business was a big factor in our decision to move when we left Alaska. And for a little refresher, this is the whole of the space that we had to run Puppalums out of in our house in Alaska. Versus here in Texas, we have this entire very large area for running puffalums. So upon landing four months ago, we immediately hopped on doubling our production for all of our tinctures. We went from making them a half gallon at a time to making them a gallon at a time. And you guys loved that so much that we actually had to double it again a couple weeks ago. So now we have quadrupled our tincture production in the four months we've been in Texas. But that creates a bit of need for some reorganization and moving things around for storage. Because five months ago at this time, we were only making 13 and a half gallons of tincture in a week. Four months ago at this time, we were making 27 gallons of tincture in a week. And then about two weeks ago, we upped that to now needing to make 54 gallons of tincture every single week. And this cabinet behind me right here is our tincture cabinet. That one holds all of our balm making supplies. And that one over there holds all of our plant materials. But this guy is getting one, a little bit full, and two, overweight, that I can't fit all 54 gallons in one spot. So we're gonna do some reorganizing and stuff a little bit of tincture and a little bit of plant material in all three of these to redistribute the weight and the space. And that's only a temporary solution for now until we get some more sturdy, long-term cabinets built that will hold the weight. We also clearly have run into some storage capacity issues with the double again. So this week, Ryan's job is going to be to replace all of these carts right here with a custom built shelf to fit all of my trays and all of the finished tinctures. But that's a video for another time, like I said, later on this week. For now, let's get to reorganizing these cabinets together so I at least have space for the jars that are in there making tincture for you guys. Well, I gotta start. We've got vinegar over there, whiskey over here, and vodka over there. But I need to remake some more tinctures to finish filling up the cabinets before we go any further. So let's go do that. And now, vinegar tinctures are done and reset. Still have some balm making supplies up there and our beeswax down there. Whiskey based tinctures are reset and the other ones over there are waiting to be poured for the restock on Tuesday night. And all the vodka based tinctures have been reset and we've got a few plant materials left over there. Moving on to sorting through, inventorying all of our plant materials because I need to place an order and then getting these sorted into all the different cabinets. And now I'm happy to report, mission accomplished. This cabinet is all of our vinegar based tinctures and all of our plant material that is used strictly for making balms and all of the balm making stuff. This cabinet is all of our whiskey based tinctures and plant materials that are grouped together by likeness needed for recipes for specific tinctures. And this cabinet is all of our vodka based tinctures and plant materials grouped together because they go in the same recipe for specific tinctures as well. And now the rest of my work week will be focused on shipping out all of your amazing orders, tomorrow night's restock, and helping my husband build me a beautiful new shelf organization unit over here. <laughs> 